You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. We're talking about getting a brand new set of teeth in just one day, in certain cases. With us, we have Dr. John Highsmith. Dr. Highsmith, welcome to the program. Good to be back. Now, we've had you on the program before. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a while, and you brought a stack of photos, so we'll get to as many of those as possible. Okay. But for people that don't know your practice, like who's the typical patient these days for implants? Okay. Well, not really a typical patient because everybody is different, but it falls under two broad categories. Those who just got bad teeth, they know they're losing their teeth, but they'll usually hold on to them way too long because, you know, bad teeth are, you can eat better with bad teeth than you can with a denture because, you know, people understand what eating with a denture is like and it's not much fun. And then there are also the people who have dentures and would like to have fixed teeth that don't come in and out. Those people are hard to get in because they're kind right? of oh, they're out of the system. They what do you mean? once they get their dentures, they never go to the dentist again unless you know the dog eats them or they drop them or something like that, or they're just so worn out that they can't eat anything. So people usually let those go too long. But they this is why I'm sitting here. So let people know what's possible. For example, you know, back in the old days, if your knee goes out, you had a cane or a wheelchair. Now you can have a knee replacement. Okay. And it's better. You have you get your quality of life back. And it's the same thing with modern technology with your teeth. We can put teeth in that you don't take in and out. You can eat anything you want. You can bite as hard as you want and there's no pain at all. And like it doesn't get any better than that. It's it's amazing what can we can do now. So it's fantastic. Now, because uh, you've been doing dental implants a long time. I mean, I think it's 1987 yeah, yeah. you did your first dental implant. Over 30 years. Yeah. So what's I, so much, I, was, I was 12. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what's so much better now, like, like even in the last four years when you were on here before? Um, what's, the, what's changed? Well, well experience. You know, I've done, I've done many hundreds since then. And so just, you know, experience of getting, you know, doing a lot of cases and seeing what we can do for people. The digital part, the digital planning, the three-dimensional x-rays, which I've had for over 15 years, but a lot of this stuff, there are advances in the field, this technology is increasing, the digital technology as far as being able to see what we can, how we can design a smile on a computer and see exactly what we're going to get, make a, a, a plastic copy of that, try that in the patient, make sure that it looks good in their face. And so that's one thing that's a lot of fun with this because you know, with the implant experience, I've been doing that for forever, but also you know, what I'm really known for in our area is cosmetic dentistry and making, makes, making smiles beautiful. And putting the two of those together is just great. It's like icing on the cake. And so not only can we give somebody teeth that don't move, but make their smile beautiful at the same time. That's great. Can I show you some? Yeah, okay. but for, okay. let me ask you a question. Though. Yeah. What do they like more, the way it looks or the fact that they could eat and chew. For these people with really bad teeth that you're okay. giving new teeth with implants. They, at first, it's what they, the function, what they can chew. But after about the 10th compliment, uh, they start <laughs> moving around to where, yeah, I'm kind of liking the way this looks. This is kind of nice because you know, usually if your teeth are not in good shape, you don't smile a lot. Here's, Randy, let me tell you, how, this is how this goes. Okay. Say somebody has, has really bad teeth. Um, why do they stay away? Everything that dentistry has tried for them has failed. You know, there's two categories. Those that just you know, got beat up by a dentist when they were a little kid, they stay away and they only go to the dentist when they, you know, they really have to. They're in okay. so much pain that they have no choice. Um, and then there's the, they're the people that are doing everything they can. They've had root canals, they've had bridges and all this stuff, and everything we do fails. And so there's a trust issue there because they're like, oh, geez, I mean, every time okay. I go to the dentist, nothing works. And it's very unfortunate. They stay away from the dentist, and the only thing that they think of that they can end up with is a denture, and they don't want to do that. And so they just stay away and let things get worse and worse. Is that and worse. true, by the way, at the top of the show where I say no more dentures? That means the future of dentistry, oh, yeah. dentures as we know them, will be gone? Yeah, absolutely. For the vast majority of patients, if uh, we can put fixed teeth in them, okay. um, it's very unusual to have a situation where you just, I'm sorry, we just can't, we can't help you. You can either do some bone grafting, grow some bone, um, and you know make teeth that don't come in and out. Okay. And yeah. there are different ways of doing that, but you know, it's almost everybody can benefit from this. Now you have one of these yeah. centers, I guess, and I, people need to know. I'm not trying to to side with you, mm -hmm. but these are the facts that typically when dental implants are done, you go to one place for the surgery, mm -hmm. maybe another place for the imaging, and another doctor that puts the teeth on top. 
You yeah. do it all right there. Is that why you're able to do it so quickly? Absolutely. And uh, all, for a lot of reasons. One is that, you know, well, I've been, I have a lot of experience doing implants, but also if I'm putting the implants in, where the implant goes makes a difference in how the final restoration is going to look. If the implant's kind of in the wrong place a little bit, I got a problem later. And so. I mean, what does that mean you have a problem later? The smile won't look right. Okay. So, okay. I mean, in order to have the cosmetic result, you got to build the foundation, like, you know, measure twice, cut once. Absolutely. You know, we measure 10 times before we do So do you it. think it's because of your cosmetic training that you get better end results? Because I looked at your photos, and like right. I said, I'm not trying right. to side with you, but some right. of these are the best I've ever seen. Okay. Well, the, I think the cosmetic thing has a lot to do with it, because I mean, there's art and science to dentistry. Okay. Uh, there's the science so that, you know, so they don't fall out. Okay. But there's the art that, as far as, you know, what looks good in your face. How do you shape things? The little nuances in a smile, the little curves on the back of the centrals and things like that, the amount of point on the canines, the, you know, the way you're filling out the lips, those are all judgment calls that you need kind of an eye to see you know, what's going to look good in that patient's face. What might look good on you might not look good on this lady. Okay. And so you have to take all into account and also try it out reversibly before you do the final one. And so we need to see exactly what we're going to get. Is some of this done on a computer? Some of it is. But to me, the, where the rubber meets the road is what it looks like in your face in real time when you're not numb. Okay. And so it can see how that looks. When you're talking, where the out of the teeth fit together. And so a lot of little things that you have to pay attention to. And that's why it's helpful, having done this for a long time and studied this a lot, to where, oh, okay, we need to tweak that a little bit. And so there's all, we're always playing with it. You know, I'm out you know, at a restaurant or something like that, I'm always looking at people's teeth. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we, we could help with that. But, you know, it's, I mean, you know, we're, we're all a little crazy. That now, you've been like a dentist in your head since 10th grade, you said, or something uh, like that. 10th grade, that's when I decided to want to be a dentist. No other dentist in the family? Not one. How does somebody pick to become a dentist? Oh, uh, I enjoyed arts and crafts when I was a kid. Okay. I was good at school and decided how could I put those together. Um, and uh, this worked out great. And it saves a lot of fuss and bother, you know, knowing what you wanted, having children. Um, I can understand what it's like to not know what you want to do, you know, when you grow up. And so I was very lucky that I chose one path and stuck with it. And I love it. I'm so glad okay. I did. You say so. it's life changing for these people. Oh, absolutely. Is that an overstatement? Oh. Not at all. The, uh, the two main advantages to what we're talking about here is say, going from bad teeth to teeth that you don't take in and out, they're, they're uh, supported by implants. Uh, one is comfort. You can eat anything you want, there's no pain. The way it works is you've got this titanium implant in the bone. There are no nerves in between the t implant and the bone, which means you can, if you have an implant, you can beat on it with a hammer and it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Try okay. that with your teeth. Okay. You okay. won't do it twice. And so that's why it, the whole thing is very comfortable. Even right after they're placed, when we take out a bunch of teeth, place the implants, put temporary teeth on there, we see them the next day say, how are you doing? Like, well, I took some Advil. And I, I'm like, what? It's, I'm still blown away with that, with how comfortable people are after this procedure. Because how soon can they eat from the time you put the new teeth on? They can eat the next day. Okay. But here's the fine print. You have to eat soft stuff while the implants are healing in the bone. So you don't go out and eat a steak day one. You know, you, the implants need to heal in the bone for a while before that happens. And you know, it's kind of like eat you, soft foods. Yeah, you can eat. Yeah, it's okay. not like it's it's, you know, it's baby food, but it's kind of like you break your leg, you put your leg in a cast. You know, you you got to keep your leg in a cast for a while, and so you kind of crawl before you can run. So eating soft food at first is just the way it works. Yeah, but isn't it true if you have bad gums, can you do this or cannot do this? Oh, of bad course you gums. can. Yeah, absolutely. When you take the teeth out, the bad gum problem goes away. Basically, all the bacteria that were around those teeth go down the drain. So the gum so, just gets you know, it's, it's, it's a new, it's a new start. It's a fresh start. And okay. so it's like a third set of teeth. Is that right? And they yeah. can eat whatever they want. What do they like yeah. more, the smile part or the, what they could eat? At first, I think they, they like the what they eat, can eat part. But after a while, they enjoy the smile part better. Because, you know, the, the function part, after a while, they kind of take it for granted. But the smile gives them self-confidence every day. And it's just, it's just life-changing for these people because so often somebody comes in and people think they're grumpy or people think they're not happy because they're not smiling. And they're not smiling because they don't like their, their teeth. You know, if somebody has bad teeth, are they gonna say, hi, how you doing? You know, they don't do that. Okay. They're gonna, hey, how are you doing? Uh, or sometimes they put their hand over their I mouth. I think you told me that they don't even wanna smile for you at the dental office. Oh, I, we have they to- They don't even wanna show their teeth. We have to tickle them. <laughs> to get him to smile for the pictures. I mean, it's like crazy. Because you're a funny guy, by the way. People yeah. don't know that, but you're, you're a very funny person. Don't tell me about it. Humorous. Okay. All right.
Well, Dennis, get, Dennis do hear all the latest gags. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Now, you um, brought photos. Okay. Yeah, Show me, me some of uh, the photos. And these are all dental implant okay. patients. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Yes. Well, this lady came in. Okay. Um, and she was not blessed with the best teeth in the world. And so, and she knew they had to go. When you have some little gaps in between the teeth and they weren't there last year, you know you got a problem. Like what? What do you mean? Um, it's usually gum disease where the teeth are loosening. Ooh, and okay, so if the teeth okay. are moving, and they ain't supposed to move. What are her options? You know, one option is upper and lower denture. And really? She, yeah, that's where most people would have taken her. Okay. And she had already figured out, you know, I'm not going there. I don't, I'm not going to do that. And so she, you know, and just like most people, she kept the teeth longer than she really should have because she didn't want a denture until she finally found me. Okay. And so what we were able to do is, you know, fix her whole smile. She's got upper and lower fixed teeth. They don't come in and out and they look beautiful and wow. she loves them. Wow, it's like that, a model. That smile looks very different. I mean, she's a busy mom with four kids. She doesn't have time to do a whole bunch of stuff. And so she, it, it gives her, her, giving her life back, giving her self-esteem back. She can smile all she wants. She can eat anything she wants with no pain. But especially for a young lady like this, having a beautiful smile is life-changing. It is, and it's so exciting when I see somebody and I know what the result can be and I got to keep from jumping up and down because I know <laughs> that it can, oh, this is like a, a, a canvas here where we can paint this beautiful portrait really? and just make it gorgeous. And so that's why this is so much fun. This is why I get into this. And a lot of people, a lot of dentists are like to just go to work and just drill and fill in this kind of stuff. I mean, and that's we, okay. We, uh, and that's fine, but we change lives. And that's what makes this, that's why I'm so blessed. You say that the we patients say that to you. They do. No, like they, their they, life has changed. Absolutely. Let me show you something on her smile. For I mentioned my cosmetic training, stuff like that. And so there are all the little nuances that help the way that the upper teeth follow the lower lip, where they're not you know, all square. When you have the really flat teeth, it tends to look old and worn. Okay. She doesn't want to look old. She wants to look young and feminine. And so the amount of point on the canine is too much, not enough. You want to have it fit their face. And that's where the, the eye comes in, the cosmetic training, to make not only functional but a beautiful restoration a beautiful smile that she'll go out and have people just say wow you've got great teeth and she and doesn't have to think about her teeth anymore I mean she just goes in for like six month cleanings like yep. everybody else that's it she's doing great can i show you another one yes okay great very similar situation and we see this all the time you know the teeth basically this uh, we had to really cajole her to get her to smile for that photograph um we know the teeth are bad her options, like before, denture. a denture, and she didn't want to go there. She wanted the best. And so, like the other lady, um, fixed teeth, implants, beautiful smile. And it, right, Looks good. Sad. Looks good. Yeah. And so, after, at first, a lot of times, these people don't really know how to smile because they haven't done it in decades. Is that right? Oh, yeah, because they're not used to it. And so, at first, they're like, uh, I think this is how it works. But after a while... <laughs> Uh, once they get compliments on it, you know, it comes naturally. Selfies on Facebook? Is that what comes next? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> there we are. They're okay. smiling. Yeah. Now, with most of these people, they're having some sort of sedation. So they don't really yes. feel it. You said yeah. sometimes they have like no memory or little memory of yeah. the procedure. Okay. Yeah. You know, what are the, the, where we're getting with this is where, what are the barriers to this? And fear is a huge one because fear of the unknown. I mean, I'm, they've never done this before. They have no idea what to expect. Um, most of the time, there's some kind of oral sedation involved. I either you take some pills about an hour ahead of time, and then after the procedure, everybody goes home, they take a nap for a few hours, and they wake up. Most people are like, yeah, I kind of remember bits and pieces of it. So, so there's some amnesia involved, which is nice. We also have a MD anesthesiologist that can come that in right? yeah, and just do an IV and put you to sleep, and then we wake up and we're done. It's like, okay, well, nice. we're all done, and your teeth are bolted in, and it's great. And so that's a good way of doing it as How well. How old can you be? To, I mean, like, what's the upper age range, um, somebody to do the this? The oldest person I've done this on is 93. Really? Why would a 93-year-old yeah. want to do this? He wants to eat. Okay. No, okay. And, that's and fair so they, And I hear this all the time. Is people say, you know, people who are like, like my age, which is scary. Okay. Like, oh, I'm too old to do this. I'm, Come on. It's, you're not. And say, let's say you're only going to live five years. You want that five years to be as best, the best five years you can make it. You want to be able to eat what you want to eat. You want to be able to smile. You don't. You want to have self confidence in your smile, no matter how long. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow. So that 93 so, year old that you did that was that a person wearing a denture or headed for a denture? He was headed for a denture. And you did what? 
You know, we place impl implants upper and lower and fixed teeth. Now, but when you're in your 90s, are, they, are the implants more likely to fall out? Oh, no, not at all. It works just the same as if you're 20. Um, I mean, so if, if somebody says, I'm 70 and I'm too old, that's not old at all? That's, that's the, no, that's absolutely, young today. absolutely not. You know, we don't you know, discriminate due to age. So okay. I mean, it's, you know, it's whenever, you know, now's the best time, really. Now, I guess in your, so we talked about this in the green room. You're only required to keep your license, as far as a dentist, 14 yeah. hours in of North, continuing education. In North Carolina, that's true. And you do about 250 of those hours. Yeah. I'm is there it. that much to this? Oh, well, yes, there is. There, there's, it's like you don't know what you don't know. Um, and the, 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 there's so much to it. There's technology. There's so many advancements in so many different fields of dentistry. I could spend, I could be gone every weekend. When my <laughs> wife would kill me, but I, I would be totally into it because there's always something to learn. Good. Um, and Good. It doesn't stand, which makes it interesting. You know, if I do this, if I did the same thing, you know, like I did 10 or 20 years ago, it'd be boring. There's always new procedures, new technology, ways to make this better and more efficient and more predictable, which is what it's all about. Can I show you another one? Yes. Okay. Um, this, this gentleman, now I mentioned two kind of categories of patients. One is those, you know, like we just shown, where they have bad teeth and you know, this, this gentleman has been wearing dentures for probably 30 years. He can eat anything, he's adapted. He can eat anything he wants, he can eat an apple but he just doesn't feel whole. And when we did his implants, and so he, now he has fixed teeth on implants, they don't come in and out. Upper and lower? Upper and lower. Okay. And he just feels different about himself. He has more self-confidence. He was self-confident before, but now he's off the charts. But he just made the comment to me, I just feel more whole. And what's that worth? And it's amazing now to be able to do that. Now you said he liked his denture before, <clears throat> but once he gets this done where upper and lower teeth that don't come out, yeah. does they, do they say like, I should have done this years ago? Oh, absolutely. I hear that all the time. So it's here. night and day difference for this guy. Yes, it is. And so you know, he, he'd adapted, but still he knew that they were dentures. He knew that it's potential it could slip or something like that. And like having your dentures fall out in a social setting, I mean, that's mortifying. And like, a, a, one lady told me a story. She was in uh, Las Vegas walking down the street and she kind of stumbled on something. Her upper denture flies out and goes skittering across the sidewalk. Oh, that's terrible. And like, as, oh my gosh, she just want to crawl into a hole. And then you gotta, what do you put it back in? What you, so I, you don't need to do that. We have so answers no for that. no more dentures. No more dentures. No one needs to be wearing a loose denture. We can fix that. And it doesn't cost more to go to a guy like you with a ton of experience, no. almost a pioneer in the, in the industry. No. Now, one thing that, you know, different places do this differently. For example, a lot of places they do the implants, but they put plastic teeth, like a little metal bar, and they have denture teeth you know, glued to the plastic. And it looks good for a while, but you've got this you know, solid base and plastic teeth on it, and you're hammering on it with your bite. Guess what happens? Snap. Okay. They break. Um, a good friend of mine is a prosthodontist in Atlanta. He tells his patients, you know, if they're going to do it that way, so well, every five years, you, get, you redo the teeth. You keep the implants, but you've got to do the teeth on top. Well, that kind of stinks. So what we do is a material called zirconia, which is like a white metal. All right. You can beat on it with a hammer. The Teeth Tomorrow group, that would, which I'm affiliated, did a five-year study of hundreds of these, and the numbers of those that chipped or broke was zero. So it's just an extremely strong material. You can beat on it with a hammer. It's not going to break. Um, and now with the newer technology, these are all zirconia that you're looking at. Okay. And they look beautiful. You've got the pink part, you've got the white part, you've got some translucency, and we have the computer to help us shape things and do the nuances to make it look good cosmetically. It's also the most biocompatible. Plaque just doesn't stick to it the way it does metal or porcelain okay. or gold or anything like that. And so it's the healthiest thing we can put in, and it looks the best, and it lasts the longest. So like, why would I use anything else? It's, you know, when the, the plastic teeth are cheaper, but if you're going to go through something like this, you want to do it the best way you Just can. Just do it right. Now, we have to mention, because we get emails about this, as far as cost of dental implants, mm -hmm. even the best dental insurance covers a very small portion. Mm -hmm. Medicare, Medicaid doesn't cover this. Mm -hmm. So what's the answer? A lot of people finance this. Okay. And if you're going to go out and buy a Toyota, you, most people don't write a check for that. They finance it. The same thing with this. You know, okay. As long as you've got decent credit, you can do that. Okay, so you have more photos. I'm not trying to rush you, but... You know, I got a million of them. We have about right. four minutes left. Okay. 
So this gentleman came in, his teeth were breaking, he was having a hard time chewing, and just like the other cases, you know, he didn't want you know, upper and lower dentures. Did they say that? Did they actually say, look, I don't want dentures? Oh yeah, that's why they're there. Okay, Absolutely, okay. Uh, we see that all the time. So here's what we did for him. We gave him a snap-in set of teeth. The, the teeth snap to the implants so that they lock in, they don't move when you chew, you can eat. And that's still. a more affordable option it than is the more, fixed teeth. It is more affordable than okay. the fixed teeth. Okay. And, so, and that's an option for some people. Here's the interesting thing about this gentleman. He worked for a car dealership, and the owner, he's worked there for 30 years. Everybody loves him. Okay. And the owner of the dealership has been begging this guy to do a TV ad for him <laughs> forever, and he doesn't want to do it. And so I asked him if he'll do a TV ad for me, and he says, yeah, I'll do it. And he mentioned this in the ad. I, would, I normally wouldn't do a TV ad, but for this, for what it's done for me and how Good. it's changed my life, I would do this. And he did an ad for me, and it was awesome. But, you know, it's, it shows you how much this does mean to people, what, how it does change their life. And it's, so it's just, it's just amazing. Let me show you this next picture. All right. Similar to the other ones. I mean, because it's, it's, am I sounding like a broken record? <laughs> this happens all the time. Okay. Teeth are going to go. Bad teeth. Options. Yeah. Denture. Implants. And he wants him. He's, he kept tell, He told me a hundred times, "I want the best." What could we do? And so with him, also snap in teeth. The teeth snap to the implants. He can eat anything he wants. He has the self confidence and the smile that he wanted. Very nice. Looks very, very nice. different. Looks younger. Absolutely. And it's all about self confidence. Being able to walk into a room, see your best friend right there, and flash him a big smile. And that's how you tell people that you love them. You smile at them. That's what we Good do. Good point. Okay. And if you can't do that, it holds you back. So there's no reason for that. We can change all of that, which is, makes this so exciting. We talked a little bit mm -hmm. in, the, in, in the green room about that people with bad teeth can be judged. Mm -hmm. Like they perceive like maybe they're not ever brushing their teeth or they're poor. Like the movies always portray mm -hmm. yeah. people like missing a front yeah. tooth or buck teeth or whatever. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Absolutely. In, in an ideal world, that would not be the case. But... Human nature being what it is, you know, that's, you know, people do that. Um, in the movies, if you, like you said, if you want to make somebody look a certain way, if you give them a certain characteristic, you can make the teeth match that. And the worse the teeth, the more evil they are, or the more poor they are, or the more less intelligent they are, and things like that. A friend of mine, um, who's not my patient, told me this at a course we were taking. She had lost a front tooth, it had got knocked out or something. And she was in the process of making one of these little flippers, which is like a one tooth disposable partial. They call it a flipper because you can flip it out with your tongue. And she said, to, she was waiting a couple of days for it to come back for the lab. And she would meet people that she knows and they would treat her like an idiot because she's missing a front tooth. She was just as smart as she was before, but it was incredibly obvious to her that people treated her differently just because of her tooth. If you take a supermodel, remove a front tooth, She's not a supermodel anymore. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, it's, it makes a difference in how people treat Good. you, but more importantly, how you feel about yourself. And that's what comes through when you have a beautiful smile and you can share it with people. And that's why it makes this so much fun to do, because we can do that for people. And we can do that for anybody. Let me show you this next patient. All right. This man came in. He has an upper denture. The lower teeth are about to go. And so same, you know, same questions, same decision. Dentures. Implants, you know, over dentures. So we did fixed teeth on the implants. So we went from a denture to fixed teeth, and it still goes back to the self-confidence thing. So he was probably pretty he confident. Looks, he looks happy right yeah, here. Oh, oh, absolutely. He loves the smile. He loves the self-confidence. He said, "I'm ready to attack the world." He said, "You've changed my life." Good. Because of what the confidence he has by not being able to worry about the teeth moving. Because if you have an upper denture, even though you've adapted to it, it's still a little bit loose. And there's always this little thing in the back of your mind that, you know, I can it come loose when I'm doing something. Because let's say you're, you know, let's say you're an adult and you're on Match.com and you meet somebody for the first time. You've got this little secret in your head okay. that, you know, my teeth come out and I put them in a jar at night. When do I tell them that? That's uh, got to be tough. Awkward. That's not fun. And so with this, you don't have to do that. So that's why we're here. Now, you've been on TV mm -hmm. for quite some time. I mean, some people say, arguably, that you are the premier center in North Carolina for mm -hmm. implant and cosmetic dentistry. But you say people have been watching you on TV for years, and they come in and they're still skeptical. Yeah. Well, the, the main question is, can you do this for me? Because they, they all say, I know this is the worst one you've ever seen. Okay. Now, they all think that. Well, there's only one of those. But they, their main question is, like, 
am I a candidate for this? Can you do this for me? And it's kind of like, I can't believe it. It's too good to be true. Can you really do this for me? The answer is yes. Of course we can. We do this all the time. That's what we do. We are out of time. Final message. Somebody watching this. They're the two group of patients. Headed to dentures, bad, bad teeth, bleeding gums, bad breath, loose teeth, and then the denture wears. They've heard what you have to say, mm -hmm. but for whatever reason, they're still skeptical or afraid. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? Come on in. Let's take a look, and you know, we can let you know what your specific options are. We take a look in your mouth, do a three-dimensional CAT scan, see what we have to work with. And like, well, your options are this, this, or this. And the vast majority of the time, so you, can, you can have this. It is up to you. If, this, if their bad teeth are holding you back, there's no reason for it. Okay, we good. can help with that. So that's why we're here. And the smile can look good all over again. Are you, Absolutely. and you're a perfectionist, yes. I've been told. Uh, yes, I've been told that. Okay, good. Yeah, so, somebody, somebody told me it's not good for your dad to be a perfectionist, but it's good for your dentist to be a perfectionist. And you're doing a new thing where you have uh, virtual consults yes, online, so, is that right? Yes, yeah, on our website. You basically send me a picture and I can give you like a personalized video. Like, you know, you know we can do X, Y, or Z for you and here's an idea of what it costs. And, you know, if this is something you want to pursue, come on in and let's talk. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Appreciate it. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.